Hi folks, this is Quabana with OpenMV and today I'm going to be showing off uh, something pretty neat which is uh, April tag tracking using the readout window. Uh, we had a customer ask about uh, doing higher speed April tag tracking and I'm just going to show off this example which uh, does that. Uh, so this is based off of the same uh, 100 FPS IR LED readout script um, but this one sets the camera up for April tag tracking. Uh, anyway, so let's just uh, demo it real quick. So here's a tag, right? And um, hold on, let me just change the resolution there. So here's an April tag. And uh, the script right now will basically find it and track it. And so you can see the readout window will kind of move as the tag moves around. Um, you can see it, it kind of follows me. Uh, and so by being able to do this, we're getting much higher FPSs and we're actually able to track the tag across the full 5 megapixel re resolution of the uh, OpenMV cam with the 5 megapixel imaging sensor. And so as you can see, the readout window actually moves around. We're able to track the tag smoothly and figure out where it's at. And every time we get farther away from the tag, the algorithm effectively speeds up and changes the windowing size for the tag. This allows us to get these uh, nice zoomed in tracking uh, effect. And I can kind of move around the room with a tag that's on an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper and still keep track of where this target is. And so I'm about a good 15 feet away from the camera right now. And we're still able to find that tag. So this uh, demo example just shows off how to kind of use this feature. Uh, for a production application, you're going to want to, you know, work on the uh, sensor exposure settings and kind of bump those up um, when you see fit, when the image is starting to get dark. And then also um, maybe keep the uh, zoom level a little bit more constant because I kind of allow the tag to get quite far away from the camera. But whatever the case, though, uh, this basically gives you that feature of kind of zooming in on where a tag is and tracking it. And so using this script, you can kind of see how to do this type of stuff with readout control and actually have the camera use the fact that the imaging plane can be, that you can move around the readout area in the imaging plane to kind of keep track of the tag and uh, keep that in the field of view. Cool. Um, and so obviously this has a few limitations in that it can't infinitely pan. Um, a more advanced system, though, would then mount the camera on a pan and tilt system which would then allow you to pan and tilt while you're moving around with the tag. And every time it loses track of the tag, it'll of course try to refind it again and track it. Um, one thing to note is that this system is built on the assumption that it has to find the tag at close first. So if you start off with a tag far away, it's going to make its life a little bit harder. I've set the resolutions for the example script so that the, that the OpenMV cam can kind of find the tag from a good uh, 10 to 12 feet away. But if you want to lower the tracking resolution down to 80 by 60, for example, you can get a higher FPS, but the cost will be that you no longer will be able to find the tag anymore once you're very far off. Um, so there's two resolutions in this example. There's a searching and then a tracking resolution. So once you've locked onto a target, um, the big then can track it basically and figure out where it is. But um, if we lose track of that object though, um, then we have to go back to the searching resolution. And you need to be able to see the tag in the searching resolution uh, basically. So if you set the tracking resolution too low, it makes it much harder for that to happen. But anyway, as long as we're locked on the tag, though, we can kind of just keep seeing it and following it and locking on in its field of view. So for an application where you have uh, April tags in a very fixed environment, where you know the distances, but the distances and such of the tag, this is going to make your life a lot easier and be able to track April tags in a large field of view area. Cool. Um, yeah, and so just to go over how this script works now, um, also, let me show off what it looks like if you're tracking multiple tags. Um, that's going to work kind of weird just because the, uh, the script is only designed to look for one. But uh, you could technically do, deal with this with multiple tags if you do some filtering on the output of which one is tracked. 
right now I'm just selecting which one has the best decision margin, which doesn't uh, kind of help you find the, uh, the center of where all the tags are. All right, so what's going on in this script? Uh, just real quick. So it's the same as the uh, 100 FPS IR LED tracking script, uh, more or less, just with April tags replacing blobs. Um, one thing to note, though, is that we start off with this readout window variable. Um, we've basically taken the sensor resolution and then coursed it to look like something that's uh, a multiple of a, a standard VGA size or QVGA. Um, that way you get the, uh, the sharpest image quality when you're doing all the scaling and such. Um, and then uh, once we've done that, we are, uh, when we center on a tag, we're using that as the resolution we choose when we're centering on a tag. Um, anyway, and then finally, uh, what we're doing is we're tracking the ratio of the tag width and height with the uh, image width and height. And basically, once we see the tag get too small, we uh, shrink the readout window um, appropriately until that's no longer the case. Or if the tag gets too large, we enlarge the readout window until that's no longer the case. And then we center back on it again. Um, anyway. Uh, and then finally, there's a, I added a, um, a loss counter because the, the tracker will give up if it doesn't find the tag in one frame. Um, and so just to handle uh, the tag flickering off and on, um, I, I made it so it doesn't stop tracking immediately if it loses the tag for two frames. Cool. So anyway, um, that's an example of showing off uh, high-speed April tag tracking with the OpenMVCam using readout control. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.